Deontay Wilder is a windmill puncher, and his height, reach, athleticism, and natural strength give him a genuine one-hitter quitter. I barely felt anything. I felt the, the graze off it, but it, was, it wasn't like a, a feeling that I usually feel. A series of victims were beaten so catastrophically that Wilder thought he had killed him. So how fierce is Wilder? Where does the power come from? Let's take a look in today's video. But before you jump in, remember, like, subscribe, and tap that icon bell. That way you don't miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. Heavyweight boxer Deontay Wilder hit so hard, he once prayed his fallen opponent would get back onto his feet. Though Wilder recently suffered back-to-back -back defeats to Tyson Fury, he is punch-perfect in fights at the Marquee Brooklyn Arena. Deontay Wilder returns Saturday to the Barclays Center to fight Robert Hellenius in a heavyweight boxing spectacle. It's a venue Wilder knows intimately, having bludgeoned four opponents there already. Let's remember Berman Stavern, Svilka, Luis Ortiz, and Hellenius. But there's one Barclays Center knockout Wilder continues to think about because it left him thinking he'd kill the opponent. Arthur Spilka in 2016. But Joe Washington wants the pace and the timing. Oh, big right hand, and down goes... Oh, the first he described the scariest thing of all was seeing a guy with all good intentions, good hype for the fight who wanted to serve his country, react to the knockout shot in the way he did. It's not the only moment Wilder's been concerned about an opponent after he separated them from their senses. In 2013, before he'd even challenged for the WBC Heavyweight Championship, which he won in 2015, he blasted Sergei Lakovic so violently that he celebrated raucously. Moments after celebrating, though, he said he paused as it dawned on him that Lakovic may have been in a bad way and needed longer to recover. So how terrifying is Wilder's power? He's known for his exceptional punching power, having knocked out every opponent he's defeated except Tyson Fury. His knockout to win percentage is at 97.61%, 69.23 in world heavyweight title fights, the fifth highest in heavyweight history, with about 20 knockouts coming in the first round. He went on to talk about the two sides of his personality. There's Deontay, the human, he revealed, and then there's the bronze bomber, the boxer. Wilder said it's the bronze bomber who wants that body on his record. More specifically, when in the ring, the bomber rose up and brutally defeats any opponent. But then, after seeing his opponent lay on the floor, he becomes Deontay Wilder. When Wilder takes on the punch machine challenge to test elite heavyweight power, his number is 927. Started and terrific power. Even when he squared up part, he was able to knock him down. Wilder said to be too wild and instinctive. Is that really true? He is a hard puncher, but he's a wild hard puncher. Wild by name and even wilder by nature. Here we see him in action against King Kong Ortiz. He often went with these power punches. However, Wilder pretty much breaks all the conventional rules for boxing. He often drops his hands to put too much weight on his front foot when throwing, and this sloppiness will cause him to miss wildly. And the proof is in this match between the American and the Gypsy King. 
He seldom takes steps to disguise his intention. He can also forget about setting traps for his opponent to walk in on. Such a technique is improved on in boxing. That's also one of the reasons he's called wild. Look at the way that he punches and drops his opponents. Look at the leverage and the snap he can generate, especially with that big right hand. In terms of boxing technique, he's probably one of the poorest heavyweight champions of the modern era. His boxing technique is quite frankly mediocre at the best of times given he's a world champion. So why is he a champion? One word, power. How did he get that power? Wilder's strength, of course, is due to rigorous training and reasonable lifestyles. He has a strong focus on boxing, so staying healthy and training is a must. However, you can't deny Wilder's innate boxing talent, especially in the terms of punching power. Wilder does have a natural gift because there's no real technique to it, and it still makes a thudding noise and thunderous damage. The combination of innate strength and focus has made a difference in the fighting style of this American boxer. His power reminds us of many legends in the history of heavyweight boxing. Just by looking at tapes of him knocking out guys, one can reasonably conclude that Deontay hits just as hard as any other big punching historical heavyweight. And it wouldn't surprise if he hits harder than someone like George Foreman, who hit hard, but he was more of a clubber, beat you down puncher than a one shot, put your lights out puncher. In particular, his strength is reminiscent of heavyweight boxing legend, Iron Man Mike Tyson. The wild style and devastating power we all see in Wilder and Tyson, most opponents are wary of facing Iron Mike, and then a devastating takedown whether they like it or not. The same can be said and seen in Wilder. In fact, however, Tyson hit much harder. He was a far superior boxer. He fought much better opposition and had every advantage other than height, which Tyson's style was specifically designed to oppose in this matchup. At heavyweight, one punch can finish it, but Tyson has every tool and every advantage and Wilder has only power. But at least Wilder makes good use of his stance and terrifies almost anyone who faces him. So what do you think about Wilder's dangerous power? Which Wilder knockout impressed you the most? Which boxing legend do you remember? Put your comments down below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that bell icon. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. To the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Molina believes in the